So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the fluval stratum, which is a, a volcanic soil, and it's used for aquariums and fish and baby shrimps and all those little beautiful creatures in the water or aquariums. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about how I use it in plants. And first, I want to tell you the benefits of the uh, of this soil, volcanic soil, and it is packed with nutrients and trace elements, very rich in minerals like potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. And that helps, you know, that our plants need all of those uh, minerals in order to actually grow and flourish. And excuse me, <laughs> this is my uh, washing machine. I cannot stop it, so it's not happy that I tried to stop it. Uh, this soil is, is lightweight and um, actually the plant roots can go easy for them and, um, and you know, and not be stuck or um, uh, hurt. But I think it's better to actually mix it with some perlite or maybe leca or some rocks or some type of uh, sand to help them even more better to do so. Um, that's going to help with drainage. You do want... Um, to use oh come on get out uh, pots that have actually drainage holes sorry i have drainage holes because you want the water to actually go through so you don't have uh, root rot and this one came from a corm and that's a uh, la large black velvet, velvet alocasia amazonica and you see it let it go through it grew up nice leaf this one is, I believe it's a monstera. Uh, it was a small, small plant with barely having any roots. And now we put some leaves on and it looks very pretty. And um, I want to show you this plant. It's not, uh, right now it's not plant in the fluvial stratum. But if you look closely, it does have it through the soil. And this plant was started in fluvial stratum, just like these ones. And then I uh, moved it to a soil, to the soil. And you know, you need to actually, after a while, you do need to move the plants to soil. And I'll tell you the reason um, I didn't, because I wasn't sure I thought it's going to stay forever in that. And I'll just add more and more. But then after a while, you'll see that the leaves start to kind of um, get brown spots and you won't see any new leaves coming and so this one you have new leaves, leaves for a while and then I just um, pot it in the soil and now you can see that I'm getting new growth here and it likes it better so I'd say that this fluvial stratum is very good for starting corms for starting cuttings new plants and as I said, it's better to be mixed with perlite or something to make sure that it actually lets the water go through. This is um, very easy to use. Many people rinse it. The package says to rinse it. Just don't do it in your drainage where you'll have to actually, I heard a story where they had to replace the whole drainage system uh, because they did something to it. I don't rinse it personally. I just uh, add the water to it and I, each time I add water, it goes on the bottom and then just throw it outside just a little bit, helping the nature outside. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. It's very easy to use. It's, it's expensive. I'll say that it's expensive. And I also would note that you should probably use it in plants that you don't, re not don't regret you, um, losing but maybe not so expensive to see how it works for you i know there are some people saying that it didn't work for them for me it works pretty good and i saw several videos that show that their plants are doing good uh, you can see that this one if you look for my channel you'll see when it was a baby and it was actually you can see it in fluvial soil stratum sorry so this is from amazon you can find it at any pet stores and it does very good for me um, and i hope it's very helpful for you uh, if you have any questions let me know and time i'll show you how these plants are doing 
Um, I'm still waiting for them to be a little bit more bigger than this. I'm waiting for another leaf on this one, um, or maybe two, and then I'll start to um, I'll repot them. I'm thinking also, I have some plants that are not doing very well in soil right now, so I'm thinking to actually add more of the fluvial stratum to the soil. You can add this to the soil. It's just it gets very expensive so uh, what i like to do is actually to just sprinkle on top on the top layer and then each time you water it kind of you know gets the minerals inside rather than putting a lot because um, i don't remember how much i paid for this i bought it a while ago but it's going to get expensive if you want to use it heavy on the plants so if you just add it to the top of the plants and you water it, then you know, your plants will get benefits. And in the video, or maybe on the package, <laughs> I'm not sure. It said that um, where is it online? It says that it should be for good for like a couple of years. Um, I'm not sure where I heard that, but um, um, I'd say, yeah, I don't see it on the package right now. And of course, when I'm gonna be done with the video, I'll obviously see it. Um, so it's good for a couple of years so you can use it as a starter or you can use it as a soil enrichment whatever you do do it how you feel and see by the eye sometimes you know I can say just use it like that and it works for me but then for you it doesn't work you always have to remember that we might have the same plant but it will behave totally different based on that temperature based on the humidity I don't know light and everything so please do mix it. I actually would like to probably, I don't know, next week or so, maybe I'll make another video and I'll be uh, undoing them. I'll be taking them out and adding some perlite to it and see, and we'll see the roots at, at that time too. So here's my video on fluval, fluval stratum. I hope it helped and let's see growing.